And what you need is some thermal paste, maybe using two lots, and some no clean liquid flux, some uh, cotton buds or q tips, and I think that's all we need. At first, you're going to want to take off this little uh, rubber bit here with either your nails or a spudger or both. Just get behind it and pull it away. That's the piece there. Put that to the side. Now there'll be um, an 8.5 millimeter T10 Torx security. I'll just have to go ahead and get that out just now. out like that and you're going to slide the, um, the the smart cover on the top just like that it's just a almost see-through plastic right. <coughs> and next we have a few screws to take off I'm going to flip it around to this side. And I'm just going to pull up the rear. And there's a little clip on the edge here. There we are. And you pull it up and totally remove the top cover. Now we're going to remove some, some uh, cables. I'm going to remove this one here, also this one, and with a spudger, you're going to want to remove this black cable here with the gold tip. Pull that away. Turn around on the other side. You're going to pull this cable out here, and this cable in the back here. You should be able to just pull this away with no hassle. But do be careful of the ribbon cable here. You want to pull away this plastic here. And with a spudger again, you're going to want to flip the tie in there. And there we go. Should be away. And that is the DVD drive to the side. Now we're going to be disconnecting the the ground wire to the from the power. You want to take the screw and the washer with it. And place that to one side. Now, oh, uh, now this screw has one here.
Right, now we're going to pull this up here. It's connected, so it might take a little bit of force to pull up. And that's that component straight off there. Right. Now we're going to remove a, a few more screws now. One that's holding the, this metal bezel down. Now you're going to want to remove this cable here. You just flip up the connections on each side and just pull it straight up like so. And also this big flex here, you want to flip up that, pull it out. That's that. And this battery, you want to pull up this cable. No, you want to pull out first. Pull up this cable like that. And that comes out. Now you want to going to remove these two metal plates here. Just a standard Phillips screwdriver for all four of these screws. And these just lift straight out. Now we're going to take this metal top off the motherboard, just grab a corner and it just lifts out like that. Right. Now you want to take the hard drive out, you can either reach inside and push it out or you can use a, a spudger tool and pry it this door. Out. Now once you're inside here, there's a small screw, which just unscrews like that. Okay, and you're going to want to reach inside and pull this little tab out, just straight out, and comes your hard drive in its little case. And we're going to just unscrew a couple more things. And we can finally lift out this motherboard from its case. Now, with a little bit of force, you can lift up from this side the motherboard and pull back, pull back this, lift up this, and pull back, and the motherboard will come this. And on the back you see uh, the heat sinks with the, the old paste. There's one screw over here in the far corner. Which removes the, the power module. And underneath you can see here is the cooling fan, its power, and these heat sinks here. And later on, we're gonna take off these, this this uh, heat sink paste, heat paste, and also we're going to take it off the these the heat paste. If you slide the metal part here back, that just lifts straight off, revealing the two chips, which we're going to work on just shortly. And we're going to remove the, the paste on these chips here. I prefer to put it on uh, a raised box like this so that 
you can get a nice even surface even though these prongs are here so it stays nice and flat now you're going to get a, a card or something similar to scrape off the the excess excess paste here okay now we're going to take off the old thermal paste from the chips I uh, just do this by using an old card credit card or spudge or anything you've got lying around just to get off the, the first big layer there we go they're uh, both almost clean but as I said before we're going to get the that was just the worst of it off then we're going to use uh, no clean liquid flux and the cotton bud on the cotton bud there we are just going to work in circular motions and you can see the transformation there and you can almost see the writing Writing's very vague on this one, but as you can see before, that you didn't with the thermal paste on. Now you can now see it. Right, that's those two done, and now we need to move on to the the heat sinks. Okay, now we're going to do the thermal paste removal on the heat sinks on the bottom part of the PlayStation. <coughs> Same again as before, we're going to use our card and scrape away the, the worst of, or the top layer of the heatsink and do remember to wipe away all the excess stuff here. Okay, now that, now that we've got the worst of it off, as you can kind of see there, I'm going to go ahead and add this same again the the no clean fl liquid flux with our q-tip Just use the Q-tip in a circular motion. I want to go along this little ridge here. So it's uh, that's a corner, so there's quite a bit of quite a bit of gathers in there. And on the other side, and the, this side as well. Now that one's finished. You can see there. You can now see, yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of a shadow there, but that doesn't really want to come off. So I think that'll do. All right. So now we're going to reflow the solder on the PSC motherboard. Uh, we're going to use a hairdryer uh, because we don't have a heat gun, but this is pretty powerful. So it, it it should do. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to concentrate on the GPU, CPU, and all the other chips surrounding that. Um, you're going to have to preheat your <coughs> preheat your heat gun uh, so it reaches its optimum temperature on a low temperature at first, and just kind of keep a go around the whole board, give it a nice keep it a nice temperature on a low temperature though.
once everything on the board's nice and hit up, we'll just kind of pump the power up. Okay, now the board is all pretty hot now, so you don't really don't want to touch it or move it uh, because you might knock some of the solder out and damage it completely. Now we're going to concentrate on each of the GPUs and the CPU. And then we go for this one first, go around in a circular motion for 25 to 30 seconds. And then the second one, we're going to go around the exact same 25 to 30 seconds. Okay, that was uh, 30 seconds on that one, and it's going to be the exact same 30 seconds on the next one here. There we go, another 30 seconds on the second one here. And we're going to concentrate on the, this big chip up here, 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 and these group of six and these group of six, and also these ones two here, okay? Do the exact same, don't heat for as long, maybe 10 seconds each chip, and a uh, group of each chip and each group of chips, and these two here. Right, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Once everything's nice and uh, hit up, heating up there, uh, we're just gonna, that's all, that's all we need to do now. We're just gonna leave it for a good half hour for it to all cool down completely. You really, really don't wanna knock it or move it at all, uh, at all during this cooling period as you could knock anything out of place and all the components on it are very malleable and they may move if you do touch it. Right, we'll come back once it's cooled down. Okay, now we're going to apply the new thermal paste. Oops, wrong way. Now we're going to apply the new thermal paste. Uh, this is gold thermal paste uh, for CPU. You can't really read that very well, but you just have to trust me. Right, so we're just going to add a little line of it around here. Uh, I'm going to use, this is the old end, this is the new end of the car that's not been used for the old demo paste before. So I'm just going to drag it along and just try and smooth this out over the whole area. You need to be quite light with this as you're not scraping it off your, your uh, spreading it on 